And could a pill someday work just like weight loss surgery? A new study by researchers at the UC Metabolic Diseases Institute has some surprising information about how the surgery helps you lose weight. Medical reporter Liz Bona shares those findings in today's Medical Edge. One of the most common weight loss surgeries now is called a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. As this demonstration with the use of graphics courtesy of YouTube shows, it removes about 80% of the stomach and then... We take your stomach, which was a bag, and turn it into a tube, hence the name vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Dr. Randy Seeley just released details of a new study about this procedure. He says we used to think that people who were overweight that had the surgery would lose the weight because they simply could not eat as much. The going version of this is the idea that we've made your stomach small and make it hard for you to fit more calories in and that it's in some ways sort of like uh, if we wired your jaw shut except we did it at your stomach. The irony of all this is that they found it wasn't really about the size of the stomach which results from that surgery that made the difference. It was actually the way your stomach or your GI tract actually communicates with your brain that makes the difference in weight loss. As part of the study, Dr. Seeley's team conducted laboratory research and found the surgery alters bile acids and bacteria in the gut. That influences receptors that signal the brain. He says we might be able to do the same thing then someday without the surgery. So right now then, what does this mean for people? I think you mentioned there's three things that could make a difference. Uh, one is to make um, other kinds of procedures that are simpler and uh, less invasive than a ruin y gastric bypass or a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, the second is to come up with drugs that would simulate the signaling changes that come from the gut. And the last is nutrition. Dr. Seeley says we don't know yet what foods might be recommended to help get the same effect in the body, but his next trials will continue to look into this. In addition, they're now researching medications that might mimic the surgery effect as well. At the UC Metabolic Institute at the University of Cincinnati, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And this study is published in the online journal Nature.